it's incumbent upon us as human beings to increase our knowledge of the universe in general and of ourselves and the world around us because we never know when the next really big discovery is going to come or where it's going to come from. I think it's important as human beings that we understand our planet. We have the capability to destroy habitats all over the planet and until we understand them, we can't really take care of them. We're trying to find out things about the universe that we didn't know before, trying to answer questions about the universe that you might not even think of posing. We don't do it because we know we're going to solve cancer from our research crews tomorrow. We do it because we don't know what we're going to find. Penn State is positioned not only in terms of the quality of the faculty and the facilities, but in the quality of the students that we get to be a real leader in creating the next generation of scientists that will make the discoveries that change the world. A lot of students think you need to know what you want to be before you ever come to uh, Penn State as an undergraduate student. In fact, I didn't have a clue when I started as an undergraduate. This is a learning experience. The program for an undergraduate at Penn State is built so that you can take a look around in your first few years. If you find a field that excites you, you will be good at it and you will have fun. We try to come up with several different ideas, and if they don't like those, we can introduce them to somebody else who does something different. And, but we don't let them fall through the cracks. We'll eventually help them find a niche. I decided that I really liked sports statistics. So I actually went to the stat department, and they told me to uh, major in math and get a stat minor, and then try to volunteer for a team on campus. I changed my major to math, and uh, I started taking statistics for the women's lacrosse team. I love sports, any kind of sports, so be able to actually take my major and apply it to something I love, it's just, it's just a lot of fun and I enjoy it. I really discovered that I had a fascination for things at the molecular level. So I, I really, I think, benefited from being at a very large university with world-class researchers, but at the same time being in a relatively small program with fairly small uh, senior level classes. For me, I think the undergraduate experience was so rich at Penn State, largely because it was so diverse. So from a well-rounded perspective and creating that sort of platform for development, you, you couldn't ask for a better place. I think an advantage of having such a big school is that there are so many different types of students here with so many different interests. It feels small. You run into people you know on campus on a daily basis. The one thing you do notice is that each class is all new people. I really enjoyed getting a breath of fresh air with each class, it was totally different. We really do strive to help personalize the education and provide the student with a more reasonable um, environment, a smaller environment in which to, to grow. The professors in the College of Science are a really great resource. Not only are they brilliant people that are publishing on important things, but they're willing to talk to you. They want to get to know you. I transferred from Penn State Berks campus. I met with my advisor after the first week of classes to make sure everything was up to par and things were going right. The people at Eberly College of Science are here to help, and they're just phenomenal at what they do. Academic advising is a very much a hands-on process, so we like to to get students involved in their career decisions very early and to make intelligent decisions from the day they walk in the door. And students are really encouraged to follow the types of coursework that they're really interested in because we find that students learn more and better enjoy their undergraduate careers if they take classes that they like. So a student has a very broad range of choices when they come to Penn State. This is a blast. I love it. I'm having a great time. These kids are going to be able to go out. They're heads and shoulders right now above any of their contemporaries in any forensic science program in this country. I know that some students have worked in the lab and said, oh, OK, this is what I want to do, or oh, this is really not what I want to do. I thought I did, but now I know I don't. And so I know that I've helped them figure out what road they want to take. And they, they're graduating happy. <laughs> because they, you know, they get a job and it's, it's kind of the job that they're looking for. I love what I do. I mean, uh, I mean, the opportunity to help 
a student develop uh, into his or her own is, it's amazing, I, you know, and it's a good feeling. I feel like I'm contributing, you know, to the future. Research is part of the human endeavor that we make to try to understand the world around us. Research is, is what I want to do. It's why I, I'm here. It's why I love Penn State. For a student interested in learning how to do science, you really need to go to a university like Penn State and the Everly College of Science that has an active research faculty. The first question I ask them is, what are your interests? What do you care about? What gets you excited? And I see that as an integral part of learning what research is all about. It's about deciding what to do next and, and what discovery or what part of the discovery to follow. I get to research things that no one else has ever seen before. I've gotten to see protein structures and be one of the first two people in the entire world to actually see that protein structure for the first time. And that's really cool. I created an experiment where the students are actually the subjects themselves. So it actually brings the students more into the experiment, gets them involved. The labs at Penn State are doing research that's going to be published. And if you work in those labs, you can be cited as an author. And then to have your name on a published journal looks really good for applications for graduate school. I've had a chance to do graduate level research as an undergraduate. As a result, I have a second author publication in the Journal of Inorganic Chemistry. It's definitely something that any grad student would be happy to have. If you go to the hospital today with cancer, they treat your whole body. What we're trying to do is find a way to instead bring this medication to you so that instead of treating your whole body, you just treat that small spot. I think my view of my ability to make a difference has changed. I thought I could only do that if I went into these specific public service roles like being a doctor. But joining a research lab definitely helped me see that there's plenty of other ways where you can use your interests and interest in science to make a difference. So it's definitely shifted my thoughts on how I can make a difference. I think the university experience these days is not just about coming to a classroom where world experts are going to teach you knowledge. You have to go out there and get the knowledge for yourself. And the co-op program and the study abroad program at the Oberlin College are other ways in which students here can really enrich their experiences and make it part of the real world. Many students are afraid to go abroad. They think it will delay their graduation. And in fact, uh, one of the things that we discovered is that at many of our partner institutions, it's exactly the opposite. Education is not just confined to classrooms. I studied abroad in Rome. I chose to study art there. So I saved my art credits and studied art history there. I have many years of medical school ahead of me where I probably won't be able to travel. And so this really allowed me to get out and see different places that you know I wouldn't otherwise be able to see. Studying abroad is a lot different from just vacationing somewhere. You're not going somewhere and looking from the outside in. When you study abroad, you're living amongst the people. And for over six months, I felt like I was part of the British culture. The College of Science has a program called Cooperative Education that basically is designed to allow students to take a few semesters and gain experience in an actual working environment. In general, it's a, it's a great way to earn money and get credits at the same time and have research experience outside of Penn State. For over six months, I worked for Pfizer Pharmaceuticals as a chemical analyst. Working for Pfizer was an amazing opportunity, and I know that I have a place to fall back on now. Right now I'm doing a co-op at McNeil Pharmaceuticals in Philadelphia. And I think saying, hey, I worked at McNeil working on Tylenol is very impressive for people when they, they look at you and you're like, well, you just, you just graduated from college and you already worked for six months at a company like McNeil. And I think that's really impressive. And when you come back to school, you're ready to start a new set of classes because you haven't had classes for six months and you're excited, like, I can't wait to schedule. Because <laughs> then I know I'm going back to Penn State.
When people think about going into sciences, they know that it's going to be a lot of time and the study isn't going to be the easiest thing that you could possibly do. But that isn't to say that it doesn't give you the freedom and the opportunity to get involved in other things. I've had the opportunity to be a member of the Penn State women's golf team for five years, which is also a big time commitment. But it gives me that opportunity to be involved in the Penn State community and something other than just staying in my lab and doing academic research. Outside of the classroom, I'm the drum major for the Penn State Blue Band. If you go to a football game, there's a guy before every football game when the band comes out that goes and does a front flip at the 50 yard line, and that's me. They have tons of sports. If there's a sport you want to do, there's someone here to do it. Anywhere from like going to the chess club meets to like going and play like rugby. Like anything in between, it's up to you. If you want to do something at Penn State, there's usually someone doing it. My athletic endeavors actually helped me keep focused in school and I think being a part of some sort of organization doesn't necessarily have to be athletics but just something to kind of distract you from the daily activities, the daily grind, really keeps you focused. It's a really healthy outlet to take advantage of. In working with the Penn State Thespians over the past five years, I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of very interesting people who I certainly would not have met had I only focused on my classes and other science-related activities. With a scientific training and the understanding of a scientific method, you can really apply it to a broad range of careers. And I found that moving from a PhD and an undergraduate in biochemistry, it was very easy to translate the same thinking, the same analytical approach into the business world. Our philosophy is very simple. We want to create excellent scientists with as much hands-on experience as you can possibly get in the academic environment. The opportunities for these students is really wide open. After I graduate, I'm going to go to medical school. I feel like with Penn State, like I've taken all the classes I need. I've had all the recommendations from the faculty I'm never going to need. As soon as I graduate, I'm be ready to go. <laughs> I'm actually going to go to law school and hoping to bring in some of my science background. So I'm also looking at intellectual property or environmental law. I'm, of course, going to miss Penn State. I've spent a number of years here, and it's grown to feel very much like home. I wouldn't trade my years here for anything. It was so nice to know that they were always there. Even now, when I go to get my full-time professorship in medicine, I know that I could call Penn State and there's alumni everywhere around the world that would be more than happy to read my resume, to even give me a job. When I went to graduate school, there were no surprises for me. I didn't get there and say, gee, this laboratory stuff is really not what I want to do. I already knew that it was. I have students who are in graduate school now, and I consistently get emails from colleagues at these places saying how well they're doing. And it's just a huge source of pride to know that people will contact me and ask if I have Penn State undergraduates coming that can work with them. Because it's very well known that they're really well prepared here. They're going to be the next generation that's going to make all the great discoveries. It's going to win the Nobel Prizes. And so our main job is to communicate the benefits of science in, in society, how science impacts just about every aspect of our lives here. And I really think that's our role as educators, is to train the next generation.